Welcome back guys to another video. Today is going to be the Crab Room tour of Green Aquatics. I am the CEO and founder of Green Aquatics. And next week will be the backyard section of tour of that. Both of these videos will be a vlog style. It won't be really heavily edited like I typically do. With tours and stuff like that, I just want to be more personable to you guys and not really like have a lot of edits and stuff just one-on-one -on -one personability and everything so let me know what you guys think of this in the comments down below I will be having a poll this video it won't be for the vlog style it will be for something else I find out in a few minutes so go ahead and watch this to the end and I hope you guys enjoy welcome to the current HQ of green aquatics things are going a little bit slower than I hoped as far as getting this thing set up and cleaned and everything but I'll go ahead and show you guys what's going on these are my guppies they're all some very interesting patterns I love that electric blue one right there and then there's like this one which I really like as well so there's a few patterns that they're throwing they're, they're just fancy guppies at this point they're not really anything special they're not fixed lineages or anything I want to do that at some point but right now they're just fancy guppies that's a either a molly or a platy if you guys know let me know in the comments as well I don't know what that is but it's a fish a friend of mine rescued and I took off his hands up here we have the purple matano crabs this is the I think it's still the smallest I believe this is the female, as you can see, she's right there. And then this is the big one. He's right back here. You won't be able to see him because of the light. But he's right in this corner and he's actually very difficult to see. They really blend in on this lava rock quite well. So this is the other three Popamatano tanks. You may have seen them right there. Let me try to make them run for you guys. See? They are very difficult to see on the lava rock. Oh. And they do blend in very well. This one is right back there. This is actually turning out great. If only this keeps up. <laughs> and I'm setting up two tanks to put the guppies into, males and females, so I can figure out which ones I want to breed. I might do things a little bit differently. I might put a female in here, let it drop fry, and then separate the males and females. That's probably what I'm likely going to do. This is a tank I'm not ready to reveal yet. It's something I got from a friend on the forum. I will tell you guys that much. This is an experiment. The bottom is cracked. You can kind of see it over here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put a thin layer of like plastic saran wrap or something on there. See if it holds water. If it does, great. I can repair the 300 gallon with far less money than I otherwise could. This is my most cultural 2.0 bin. I'm trying out a new method for culturing plants emost. This is the original emost cultural bin. It's doing fabulous. I'm going to be moving these underneath these racks here just to try to allow me some place to put them without being in the middle of a walkway and something I did want to mention to you guys this is what I'm going to be putting in the poll I want to give you guys a giveaway right now I have guppies fancy guppies so I kind of want to wait a little while. I may reach 100 subscribers by then or whatever. We'll see what happens. But I kind of want to wait until she molts again. And it may take another molt after that. But when she becomes buried and she has crablets, I'm not sure if she will or not, which is kind of the issue. But I'm, I'm saying this in faith that she will. Once I get crablets from the Popo Matano crabs and possibly once I have other crabs by May 2019, I plan to have a giveaway with the crablets slash mostly the juvenile crabs. And I want to know what you guys think about that. So go ahead and vote. It'll be popping up right now. Go ahead and vote and tell me what you guys think. Do you want fancy guppies 
or do you want to wait and get some crablets? Not just Popa Matano crabs, but I'll hopefully have other crablets at that time as well. I may have panther crabs, I'll likely have vampire crabs, and possibly some Onshan Bonio crabs. And this is what I have to deal with. <laughs> I don't know why this happens per se, but I will be moving these guys to totes, which will cut down on the amount of times I have to put it back underneath the water surface to make it bubble. And I will also put them in a more natural setting, which will replicate the shores of Lake Montano a lot better. So go ahead and let me know how you guys like this log style of video. And go ahead and also let me know if you want the guppies or if you want to wait for the crablets. So juvenile crabs of the next generation. Okay guys, just wanted to outro this real quick and I just wanted to say one more time, thank you so much for supporting my channel, helping it to grow. We're at 55 subscribers and about that giveaway, I wanted to mention one thing. I did mention the panther crabs. Based on the malt cycles of these crabs I have now, I'm not, I think it's just wistful thinking to think that they're going to have crablets and I'll be able to raise the juvenile crabs by the time the giveaway happens. But I should be able to have the vampire crabs going and I'm going to be getting between four and six different types of vampire crabs. More details will come when I actually get them or possibly in a video in the next series all about crabs. So definitely let me know, vote on the poll, and thank you guys so much. And let me know in the comments what you guys are thankful for this Thanksgiving. So go ahead and let me know all of that giveaway if you guys like this style of video and what you guys are thankful for for this Thanksgiving in the comments below. Vote on the giveaway in the poll and thank you so much. Have a great week guys.